In fact, in the first administrative overhaul of the UPA decisions, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has abolished all ministerial groups and empowered groups of ministers. This is reportedly a move to speed up the decision-making process in line with Modi's promise for minimum government and maximum governance. Sources in the PMO say that the abolition of these groups is primarily aimed at empowering the ministries, so ministries and departments will now be empowered to take decisions currently pending with the GOMs and the EGOMs. The new NDA government inherited 21 GOMs and 9 EGOMs from the UPA. EGOMs, we have converted uh, EGOMs into a new format. And I'm sure that this will, this process will yield result more quickly than the formal EGOM, where the five or six ministers don't get time or suitable time to come together. The Prime Minister has chosen to abolish uh, the group of ministers and the empowered group of ministers. Uh, maybe that's the way they would like to uh, steer the course. The group of ministers and the empowered group of ministers were constituted during the UPA regime, uh, primarily because most issues these days are multidisciplinary in nature. Uh, they are complex. Uh, they have interministerial connotations and implications.